Let's get a mask in. Not look for anything in particular. Get you, I never, I never hear with the baby. I just go with the flow. So that's definitely what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I know I wanna say Marshall's he didn't make it over back. 
I left the gym. I done been in Dollar Tree that whole while. I they supposed to be on my eight. Girl, I had to wait to eight thirty. Some just before they uh, open up. Some about the floor was getting the floor clean. Why y'all didn't do that beforehand? Anyway, y'all know I've been trying to get the TJ Maxx for two weeks. So we got enough energy to go to TJ Maxx today, and we right down the street. They open up at nine thirty, so we finna sit right here. And let them open up, and then we're going into TJ Maxx. So I can exchange this tidy girl that I done had for in my car riding with me, girl, like they family. All right, so we're gonna sit here in the meantime, in between time, drinking my water. And y'all, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. I'm headed home. They just gonna keep riding with me like family. Because I already said like 30, 35 minutes at the Dollar Tree waiting on them to open because I had to get stuff for what I done had to. I wanted to go ahead on and get stuff. Well, well I knew they opened at 8. So I got that and it was like, what it was like? 7.45, something like this. So I was like, well, they don't sense me leaving. They'll be open a few minutes. Well, whatever going on, they didn't end up opening at 8.30, 8.35. So I set that at wow because I was doing stuff on my phone and I uploaded a reel and stuff. So that was okay. But I don't want to sit there the whole time waiting on TJ Maxx because I could get other stuff done during that time. Uh, so I'm leaving. I need to buy me some protein. Plus, I wanted to go ahead on and grab a few things for my grandbaby. Like she said, she wanted a mop and a broom uh, for her dorm. So I went ahead and got that. Uh, then I got her a couple of mechanical pencils, a couple of pens, and uh, a little thing that says stay focused. And then we're going to get everything else from Walmart. But since I was in there and I got her a little bottle of clean and stuff, uh, I wanted to go ahead and get that. So now, so now I'm headed to, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about something. I'm headed home. Yeah, I think I'm going to just head home. So now I'm headed home. I'm fix me something to eat. And then what I think I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and do this haul. I'm trying to think which one do I want to do because I got a couple. Not, well, I got a haul and then I got style and video. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do this haul and incorporate style and video in the haul. So, that's what I'm going to do. Finish up this water. So, I'm going to give me a, uh, no I'm not, I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. Alright, see y'all at the house. Alright y'all, so, I'm home girl, this is about a week later. <laughs> we done dropped the baby off, uh, we made it home yesterday. Girl, her little milk early this morning, but... Girl, I'm not going to the gym today. I thought I was. And we're going to 
gonna do this haul. It's not a huge haul, y'all. It's not. It's not a huge haul. But I haven't had coffee yet. I was just like, let me go and get this up. Because I got some you know, other things. Gary, I got on my jam. Y'all listen. Y'all know how we do over here. We ain't playing no games. Y'all know how we do. Girl, we just, we just family, girl. We, if you got to get all dressed up, dolled up for your family to come over here, y'all really family. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on my lips. Now, I do try to be, I try not to look too crusty. But I just got up, had my bath. I haven't made my coffee yet, girl. We're going to put some on this lip so the lip won't be too crusty. But we're going to get off into this haul, so this video don't need to be long. Like I said, this is about a week later. Girl, let me say this. Y'all should, y'all, y'all show me some love. I took y'all with me to drop the gun baby off. So that vlog will be lit. And it's a true vlog. Ain't no shopping. It really, it's a true vlog. So y'all show me some love. Anyway, do that look okay, y'all? Anyway, girl, I was so excited. We had such a nice time. Uh, we didn't say as long as we wanted to. Y'all see y'all like all about that in the vlog. Let's get into this haul, y'all. So, the first thing y'all know, I didn't get a lot of stuff. I don't get a lot of stuff. Y'all know Grandbaby came. I gave Grandbaby two big black garbage bags full of stuff. She went through that deal. She wanted to do with that. She came back and went through and picked up a few more things. My closet is a mess, but I feel good about my closet. The thing of it is, is my closet is a mess, but it's a mess if I just not organize or clean. If I organize it and clean it, baby, it would be prestige. I have more winter stuff and fall stuff than anything. Because in the, in the guest room in there, I got fall stuff packed up. Y'all, and I still have stuff in the garage. That's all my leathers, my coats, and my boots and things getting all crunched up. So I told hubby when it started getting cool, I'm going to go in that garage and just go and clean it out. I did see that somebody said they wanted the skirt and somebody said that they wanted the blazer, the red jacket. So, shipping and handling is y'all. We'll talk about it. Uh, you can DM me too for the information where you want me to send anything. Just DM me uh, at uh, find your fashion with me at gmail.com. Y'all, it's hot. I ain't had no call back. Y'all, the stuff tied up on my head because I didn't want my head just. Hold on, y'all. It, it's too stuff and I'm hot. There we go. Phew, girl. Because I did nothing for my hair, but I'm going to do something this week. Alright, let's get into it. That's enough ramp. Okay, so the first thing I picked these up. Now, I picked these up because y'all know I like stuff like this to go get coffee in and the fall and stuff, but I picked them up because I'm going to throw them on to drop grandbaby off. Girl, these things are thick. I was trying to see the these things are, let me see, can y'all see? Girl, these things are thick. I said, girl, I put these on. I was like, oh no, we, we ain't doing that. I thought about cutting them. I was like, no, we ain't doing that. I picked these up. I almost didn't get them, y'all. I almost didn't get them, I'll tell you what. But I, I cleaned them in bleach and vinegar. Look at this. I know this ain't everybody, but y'all know me. Girl, look at these. I love these. I look at these. Y'all see this? Love these. Now, I picked them up. First thing I always do when I want to know how bad hair pants is, I told y'all. I look between the legs. And you can see, y'all, you don't see no whole bunch of rub and scrub. And I'm like, okay. Girl, why I open the crotch and looked in the crotch, seemed like a little. Like a yellow, like a little stain or something. I don't know what that was. It didn't look like period blood. It didn't look like, you know, pee. I don't know what that was. I'm like, who walk around no drawers on with jeans on? I don't know what that was. Got through the thing back so fast. So then when I opened them up, I looked on the on the, like, in the crotch of them, I didn't see nothing. And I was like, what is that? And then it was like, something was 
like right here. But I brought some things, sprayed them down. I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to go on here. I got them, I sprayed them down. I soaked them. I uh, put vinegar, vinegar washing pad, and then washed them in bleach. And I, the stain went away. This smell like, nah, man, it's that one. But like, the, ooh, that smells so good. This smell like nothing, but I was, that was a little, little strange for me. I was like, somebody spilled something on me. I don't even think. Okay, next thing I got, y'all probably saw me when I pulled this at the bin. Now, I didn't get those from the bin. Everything else, everything else, everything else I got from the bin, except those diva pants. I got those pants from the rest of group here. Uh, way back here. Oh God! And the other thing I got is that I want to show y'all is way in there, so y'all have to hold on. But y'all saw me when I grabbed this, uh, and I have a, uh, a vintage Chicago Bears uh, sweatshirt. Cause y'all know uh, I did stay in Chicago a little bit of my childhood, and my sister is still there. So we got to represent the Chicago Bears, girl. Then my husband brought me this. I try not to get too many jackets because I end up don't wear them like I think I'm going to wear them. But I thought this was so cute. And I thought this would be cute with some black jeans that I saw for Ever 21 that I told myself I might go back and get. They was five dollars. They probably gone now. But tomorrow I might run by there and if I got them, I'd get them. But I thought, all right, that would be a cute little fit. But then I was like, girl, do you have some black jeans already? Just wear what you, what you already got. Now this I have... Absolutely love. I shrunk it, y'all. I love the chunky wood, how it fit. But we supposed to go back to the beans today. If we go back to the beans today, I'm see can I find another one. Now I know at one point these was all the rage, and then they just stopped. I think this one came from Joanne Vass. Yeah, but I love this, and I think this would be so cute in the fall and the winter. And I don't buy a lot of sweater, y'all know. I already told y'all about that. But look at that. Do y'all remember when these was all the rain? Right? Everybody, that's the way I am. If I like it, I like it. Because nine times out of ten, girl, it's going to come back. But I just love this sweater. And it fit exactly like I want. It had to be chunky. And it, I like my sleeves to come right there. Girl, I put it in the dry washer. Put it in the dry. I left it in there too long. Now it's not as oversized as it was. But I still like it. I really do like it. And I think it'll be cute with some jeans or a skirt or something like that. Now, the last two items before I go get this other item are these right here. Um, really, I, it was three items. I got, y'all know I love t-shirt. I got one t-shirt that said, not look, just God. It's, it's just God, baby. It's always God. It's not look. And then I got this one. Girl, yeah, this tickled me so. This tickled me so. Do y'all see this? Now, I actually found some pants that match this. They had this same, but I didn't get them. But I thought that was hilarious, y'all. It said Snoop Dogg, but it's a dog. He got a mic, and I don't know what all he do. He dancing, but I didn't see nothing bad. Or I didn't get a real bad feeling from it, so I went on and got it. I thought it was too funny. I thought that was too funny. I, but I'm going to tell you something. Look how deep and chocolate the dog is. But, you know, I don't know. I ain't get nothing funny from it. Then I got this. Now, this tiny little t-shirt, I was going to get, because I like my t-shirts to either be, I got a couple of t-shirts. My Blue, Bruce Lee t-shirt, my Muhammad Ali t-shirt. It's two or three t-shirts that, I really like and I get though it's a certain material I like in my t-shirt but when I get a fitted t-shirt it's to wear on a blazer with something most of the time I like my t-shirts oversized when I saw this I wasn't gonna get it but I felt it and I was like this feels so good so it said it's heavy cotton definitely not my size but it says Chicago Charlie and Double Decker Company but when I felt it and I like that little spot of green and I have a red leather skirt, I said little spot of green. And then talk about red leather skirt. But I have a red leather skirt that I think that'll be so cute, fitted, and then just throw on like a blazer here and some gym shoes. So I grabbed it. It fit big because it's not my size, but the, this Baby, this heavy cotton feels so good and got a little stretch to it. Now, hold on. I'm going to get 
his last piece. And y'all know the ones that have been following me for a long time. Y'all know I get stuff like this. Y'all know I love stuff like this. If I remember, I'll go back and show y'all some different ones that I have thrifted over time to let y'all know how much I love these, how I style. I've thrifted white ones. I've thrifted uh, a yellow and black one. I've thrifted uh, a burgundy one. I thrifted... Y'all will just have to see when I try to uh, line them up and show y'all. I absolutely I absolutely I absolutely love these. So when I see them, I hardly ever pass them. Hold on. I gotta admit, this is so funny how I'm one of them people that love to clean up before I leave. I can't, I can't come back and my house be a mess because I know it's gonna be a mess when I start taking all this stuff out. I just walked in the laundry room to get the <laughs> coat because it had me walk. Yo, I got stuff ill. I was like, how you clean them and come home and mess up? But anyway, so I forgot to show y'all these. I got these all in motions, which I'm gonna get some more of these tights. I did thrift these. Now, these are not my size. I really wanna do a whole video on but I'm not going to dedicate a video to it. We'll just talk about it from time to time. Oh, no. Getting away from sizes and knowing what fit. Now, there's a difference in trying something on. So, oh, it fit. But does it fit to the point where you can wear it? Not just getting it on it fit, but is it comfortable and does it look good? I know how I like my tights. So, when I saw these, hubby brought these to me. I knew, girl, look at that. I knew they were my size. But I have been working out and wearing tights long enough. Look at this. That I knew these was gonna fit exactly like I wanted them. So, also I had a pair of Nike girl. If I remember, I pop up a picture. They was an extra small, an extra small. Them was the best tights I had. They didn't roll down. They fit my waist. They fit my thighs. They held me in as I moved. Cause to me, if you got on tights and you moving and your you. You flabbing like this, you trying to do this, and you flabbing like this with tights on. You don't want that. I don't want that. I like to put my tights on, and I like for them to fit, fit my own. So when I'm flabbing like this, see there, you can't, you can't see it. That tight got that meat, that got that jiggy jangle, so it ain't going nowhere. That's what I like. So I thrifted these. Now this is what I was talking about. And the ones that's been following me for a long time, y'all already know. I don't pay, and a lot of them be this Sums, uh, Sums, C-I-V. I don't pass a long Church of God in Christ, because I, I need to stop saying that. I don't be trying to offend nobody. Long, like, you know they used to wear these long, long coats with the skirts uh, and the hats. I don't pass on these. I'm going to be trying on to show you what it looks like. Hold on. I don't even think I ended the thing. Girl, be the solution to somebody's problem, girl. Because we all need helps. We got to be our brother's keeper. We got to iron shop and anger. We got to help out. We got to hope each other out. We got to have some hope. Hope each other out. And that's it. Until the next time. Y'all look so yellowish. I'll see my light near that. Let's get over the light. See that hell. Okay. Be the solution to somebody's problem. Bye. 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 And then other t-shirts. I didn't try on. Y'all know what a t-shirt looks like, girl. Yeah. Because I don't really, I ain't really been styling. Because when I style, I don't really want to style it and then have a styling video and be trying to reach. Bye, girl. Bye. Mm -hmm.